One company is pushing further ahead into e-commerce grocery delivery. After reportedly turning down $500 million buyout offer from Kroger, Boxed just closed a new round of funding where it raised more than $111 million, reportedly valuing the company at $600 million. Let's bring in Che Wang, co-founder and CEO of Boxed, who joins us here on set. I got to start with these reports. Did you actually rebuff Kroger? Uh, so I think um, what we've always said, and here on CNBC, CNBC as well, is that we know all these folks really well, and so they equally try to kill us, buy us, partner with us, and, and kind of invest in us all at the same time. And that's been par for the course for about five years for our company now. So you raised $111 million. What are you putting that money towards? Uh, towards automation of the facilities. So now we actually have our on-site robotics team where all the new automation hardware is actually built in-house. Uh, as well as you know, continuing to build scale because this is uh, a very tough industry that's, uh, that rewards scale. Uh, what is your industry? Are you a grocery delivery company like Fresh Direct that I would know in New York City or what's being offered by like Peapod? Is that the exact comparison? Uh, to a certain extent, except we bring the big sizes to you uh, to all lower 48 states with no membership fees. And so uh, Peapod, Fresh Direct, they're usually landlocked in certain geos. We're national, well, at least in the lower 48 Are you shipping states. over the mail or you just have trucks everywhere? Or? So we have an express delivery service for fresh deliveries in about five locations throughout the country. For the rest of the country, we ship via UPS, FedEx, and local couriers. So you don't have a membership fee. I know it's free shipping over, what, $49? How are you making money? Uh, so it's interesting because one of our fastest growing business segments uh, are twofold. Uh, one is B2B. Uh, and so you take a studio like this in the green room. Um, even the cafeteria here, uh, you're getting snacks from somewhere and probably not Amazon. Um, so that's one. And then two, uh, what's interesting for us is one of the fastest growing parts of our businesses has been our ad business as well. So uh, you can come on box, brands buy uh, sponsored placements, cost per click uh, on the back end, all flowing through. So that's business. another huh. revenue stream for you. Absolutely. That, that's completely, so so y your typical customer is what? A business or an individual who's buying a, a three-gallon vat of mayonnaise. What is it? I, I, um, so, uh, who is your customer? The mayonnaise is delicious, so that's why it's three gallons. <laughs> that's what they do. Uh, yeah. um, you know, right now the majority is still B to C. So our average customer is still uh, call it a 35 to 42 year old uh, CEO mom of the household, mm -hmm. uh, looking to stock up because she has more time, uh, more more money. Uh, than time at this moment. So let's, you don't want to discuss partic particular deals, but you've chosen to go it alone. Yeah, I think so. Why? Uh, I think when you think about, as an entrepreneur, the confluence of the different factors in the economy today, you have availability of capital. We all see this. SoftBank has a $100 billion venture fund. I mean, that's a, about as crazy as it gets these days. And are uh, they an investor in you? I don't see them on the list. Okay, that's what us. I thought. Okay. Um, but but uh, they're an example of just how much money is out there exactly. for sure. Um, two, availability of, of, of talent. There's a lot of folks out there kind of fleeing traditional retail. And third, we're in the right place at the right time. Five years ago when we were in my garage, no one wanted to talk to us. But now mobile commerce has become a thing and also online grocery has become on trend. So all of that mixes pretty well for us. I want to go back to this talent piece. We've got a tight labor market. I'm, I'm looking here. Personally, you personally fund up to $20,000 for employees' weddings, pay full college tuition for boxed employees' children. These are like, I haven't even heard of perks like we this before. We are hiring, so, you know, I don't, we don't have a... a, a but, yeah, but to Morgan's <laughs> point, is, is it that it's that hard to find people that you got to offer perks like that? Oh, so uh, it's not the genesis of why we hire it, but it sure is helpful uh, in, the tr in the kind of uh, talent war right now. Even within the fulfillment center labor market, uh, all the big folks are all within a few kind of uh, miles of each other. And so when you're looking for that person, given the tight labor market, um, you know, th that person has a lot of choices. And so um, we treat them well, give them great benefits, and luckily we have a uh, decent pick. How long do I, if, if I want to get that college uh, benefit, <laughs> uh, more here, how long do I have to work with you? Do I got to stay with you for a certain amount of time? Uh, no, so right now it's, uh, it's tied to not only... He's looking oh, for I'm a part-time evening out here. job. I'm going, I'm going to apply right now, man. <laughs> so it's tied to uh, uh, my personal share yeah. uh, in the company. All right. But before that, uh, right now, this coming semester, we, I think we already have six or seven uh, cool. folks in college that we'll